So first thing, download the uh, Wi Finance module through pip install Wi Finance. Once you have the Wi Finance module, you can go to your Python program and import it. Import Wi Finance as uh, YF, that is usually the name that we give to it. And then uh, you can collect the data through doing uh, yf.download and the name of the ticker. So for instance, QQQ. You can see now that we are printing all historical data of QQQ. If you don't want all the historical data, but you want just a range of data from a, start, from a precise starting date to precise end date, you can create these two variables. You can create the start date variable and the end date variable. And in your uh, yf.download, you can write ticker name, comma, start, equal, and then your variable start date, comma, and uh, equal your variable end date. And now you can see that so you have downloaded onto the historical data of that. Um, now you can see, like, also downloading other kinds of tickers. If you need all these tickers into a CSV file, you can do uh, data to CSV and now we are renaming the CSV file as that specific name so the final name will be spy.csv spy you can check in your finder in, the, in your current folder and you can see that that ticker has appeared that uh, CSV file has appeared and now we will download another, another ticker we will download QQQ data and you can see there the QQQ file, QQQ.csv file. If you open it, for instance, open it with Excel, you can see that you have got all the historical data in a CSV file, in an Excel file.